Kwanza was formerly a princely state and one of the most loyal vassals to the Maharaja of Jammu and Kashmir, which continued to survive until 1974, when it was finally dissolved by Zulfikar Ali Bhutto and was made part of Pakistan. The state capital was the town of Baltit and now it is known as Karimabad. Its old settlement is Ganesh, Hunza was an independent principality for more than 900 years. The territory of Hunza is about 7900 square kilometers. It is situated at elevation of about 8200 feet. Ancient villages of Hunza Valley known as Altit and Baltit. The award-winning 900 years old artist fort is one of the oldest human settlements in northern Pakistan. It is preached on the edge of a high rock face above the Hunza River in the ancient village of Altit Khun. Impressive vaulted fort that sit on the top of Karimabad, the foundation of the fort are said to date back around 700 years, but there have been rebuilds and alternations over the centuries. Uh, the story starts from 1200 AD when a uh, group of people, uh, people don't know, the local people, that why they marched out from the mountains and they reached over here. The history shows, the traditional history shows, describes it in a way that the people came over here and they were in search of some uh, piece of land which could be used for their future home. After 1200 AD, the people of Hunza, I mean, this people of this town, Karimabad, which was uh, which the old name of Karimabad is Baltit, they came over here, they started to construct their house, which is over there in my background. It was a collective house in a very beginning phase, but later on when community sold out and the community's population increased, the people started to construct a township around it. Hunza Valley is known to be the most enchanting valley in the world. It is sometimes referred to Shangri-La, heaven and earth. The beautiful valley with neat sloppy villages, whispering streams, colorful orchards and cast glacier, surrounded by several peaks including Rakaboshi, Altar Peak, Ladyfinger, Golden Peak, which are above 23,000 feet. The people of Hunza are known as Hunzakut. They are known for their unique culture, languages, simplicity, long life, music and dance. The wonderful fairy tale from their shamanistic past shed lights on the mysterious past of these wonderful people. Hunzakut mostly depends on tourism and agriculture. 9-11 directly affected the sector of international tourism in this area. <laughs> टूरिज्म यहां प्रमोट होगा और 911 के बाद जो है हमारे टूरिज्म पे काफी फर्क पड़ा द इमेज ऑफ पाकिस्तान इन जनरल इज वेरी नेगेटिव एंड मोस्ट पीपल डोंट नो दैट देयर आर आल्सो वेरी पॉजिटिव साइड्स ऑफ दिस कंट्री दे डोंट नो दैट पीपल आर वेरी फ्रेंडली दैट नॉट एवरीबॉडी इज अ टेररिस्ट एंड ऑल द पीपल हैव द सेम wishes and feelings, they want to have education for their children, they want to live in peace, uh, they want to feed their families. Here women and men are supposed to be equal. The literacy rate is more than 90%. Different projects are running by community of Hunza for their development. This area was very remote, so Akhan Akadian has taken the initiative as a Diamond Jubilee Schools. और ये उसका एक हिस्सा है आपके सामने जो जो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर नजर आ रही है उस तरफ का जो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ये भी है ना ओल्ड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर है ये भी कम्युनिटी ने ही इस लैंड को जो ना डोनेट किया एक यस को और इसके बाद जो लेबरिंग है यहाँ की लोकल कम्युनिटी ने की है जबकि इसके मटेरियल कास्ट जो है ना एक यस ने इसको 
कंस्ट्रक्ट करवाया है Women Rehabilitation Center is a project of Gado, Karakram Area Development Organization, which is providing special care to special women of Hunza through work therapy, socialization, and trainings. Kharul is the member of Women Rehabilitation Center. Assalamu alaikum, Miss. Wa alaikum. Bianna Kharul. Miss, awa ko ko to akara na Miss Ma Pati. She works as a sewer of handicrafts. She is confident enough and considers herself as fruitful and independent member of society. <laughs> Autumn in Hunza is something to behold. This is the time of the year when the trees burst forth into a riot of color with hues of orange, rust, and red. The clear and bracing weather offers the best view of surrounding mountains. In this river is boundary which divides Hunza and Nagar Valley. Nagar is situated at the left of the river here. Life as compared to Hunza is a bit slow, and literacy rate is beyond the line. <laughs> Look into the blue eyes of this poor shepherd of lost horizon. That's His 800 cattle in the pasture of Nagar play an empowering role in his daily household activities. <laughs> However, he has been semi professional hunter and manages to hunt. <laughs> Living on the edge of mysterious fairy land, Kalbi has made strong relationship with his cattle and nature respectively. Caring for these cattle earn him an average living. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 